Hello and welcome to section 7 3D modeling and texture painting. In this section, we'll get started with Blender. Then we're gonna learn how to create a simple 3D model. After that, we're gonna learn how to do UV mapping in Blender. Also, we're gonna learn how to do texture painting in Photoshop. And finally, we can export our 3D model and import it into Unity. Now, in this first video, creating a simple 3D model in Blender. We're gonna learn about creating a basic 3D mesh in Blender. Then we're gonna learn how to add modifiers. And also we're gonna learn how to make smooth surface in Blender. So let's get started. I have opened up Blender. And this is how it looks like when you open it for the very first time. Here I have an empty project. I can zoom in and zoom out simply by rotating my mouse wheel. So let me zoom in a little bit now. We don't need these things that are present in the scene already. So we're gonna go ahead and delete them. So let me go ahead and right click over this cube, then press X key and delete it. Select the camera by right clicking, press X key and delete it. Select the light, press X key and delete it. I have turned on the screencast keys so that you can see on the bottom left corner which keys I am pressing. So first of all, I'm going to press Shift A and from the mesh, I'm going to create a new UV sphere. Now I can press the dot or period key on my number pad to zoom in it. So I'm going to press the number pad period key. It has zoomed into it. Now I can press one key on my keyboard to go to the front view. So make sure to press the one key on your number pad to go to the front view. Now, I can simply go ahead and add a modifier to this uh, sphere. If you extend the window on the right side, here you can see we have a wrench like icon. And from here, we can add some modifiers to our object. So I'm going to go ahead and add a modifier and I'm going to add this subdivision surface modifier. Now, for the view, press 2 and for the render, press 2 as well. So now we are ready. Now I need to press the tab key to go to the edit mode. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the vertex select mode. So I'm going to go to this and press this one. As you can see now we are in the vertex select mode. And if you press this one, you can go to the edge select mode. If you select this one, you can go to the face select mode. So we need to go to the vertex select mode. So I'm going to select this one. Now you can simply go ahead and press your mouse wheel and drag to rotate it in the scene. I have clicked my mouse wheel and while pressing it, I can rotate it around the scene. Now I need to select this top vertex of my sphere. So I'm going to right click on this top vertex. It has been selected. I can press one key on my keyboard again to go back to the front view. Now I'm going to rotate my mouse wheel a little bit so that I can zoom out of the scene. Now I can press O key on my keyboard to turn on proportional editing. Now I can press G key on my keyboard and then press the Z key. So now I have pressed G plus Z key or Z whatever you say. And now I can simply rotate my mouse wheel to select the amount of area I can affect. I am rotating like this and this is the amount of area inside the circle that I can affect with this. I have moved it upward and already it has got an egg-like shape. Now I can simply click. It has gone and now I have got this egg-like shape. So now what I need to do is I need to add one final thing to it. So press the A key on your keyboard to select all these things. Remember you need to press the A key multiple times. So either you can press once or twice or thrice to make sure to select everything. Then on the left side, you can see we have something called shading or UVs. From there, we have something called faces smooth. To do that, first of all, we need to go to this face select mode by clicking on this button. Now we are in the face select mode. And now I can simply make the faces smooth. And now if I move out of the edit mode by pressing the tab key, now we have a smooth looking egg here. So this is the kind of thing that we actually need in this case. So here we have a smooth looking egg and we have modeled it from beginning to end in Blender. 